Good morning, YouTube. Happy Friday. Happy beginning to the weekend vlog. My my very personal series on YouTube. Actually, it's my only series on YouTube for now. That is going to change very, very soon, within the next few weeks. Well, uh, first I'm going to overhaul my whole desk area here, new monitors, a whole new setup, um, getting a a preamp for my mic and just doing a big overhaul on my my gaming or and editing setup and then I'm going to start a gaming series I did original gaming on YouTube just on this channel which I'm still gonna do <clears throat> but it's just gonna be every Saturday morning I'm going to come up here and YouTube live stream something whether it's player unknowns battlegrounds or or um, what else do I have? Oh, I could be, I could do Overwatch or anything. Um, I'm gonna try to get some some people involved in this too, some people I know to play along with me, especially play on battlegrounds, do squads and stuff like that. It'll be a lot of fun, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna stream these games maybe for a couple hours every Saturday morning. So every Saturday morning, anybody who wants to watch can get up and watch the live stream on Saturday. If not, it'll be a video you can watch later. So anyway. It is Friday, it is the beginning of the weekend vlog, and I couldn't be more happy. This week took forever, and, and, and there's a reason for that. The reason it took forever is because it is Comic-Con weekend, Saturday morning. We are going to Chicago. You want to close the door? We are going to Chicago for Wizard World Comic-Con. That's why this week has taken so long, because it's like, I've been anticipating this all week. It was like it would be like if if Christmas was Saturday, and you were a five year old, you'd be excited. And yes, I'm comparing myself to a five year old anticipating Christmas. The Comic Con is that awesome. It is that awesome. Nice. Already, um, my schedule has changed a little bit since school started. Um, I go into work an hour late. So I can take this Chica to school and make sure that she gets ready because she procrastinates all morning long. And uh, so that, but that's okay. I got a very flexible work environment. Although I've been pushing some hours there this week, but uh, that's okay too. Um, I, I'm I'm very much caught up on my my side job, my my videography job. I'm very much caught up there, but I'm, I'm I am acquiring more work. I just got off the phone. Yesterday with, with someone acquiring more work, plus big news, big news in the way of my videography career, huge news. I'm talking, wow, it's, it's crazy. I, ju I just got a phone call yesterday telling me about this news. Um, it's insane. I, I mean, I can't go into detail f for a couple reasons, it, and it's very political, um, and, and, and it's, I, can't, I can't talk about it much. So anyway. There you have that. It is Friday. I am so stoked it is Friday. I am so stoked to be going to Comic-Con tomorrow. It's going to be a fun weekend. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to go. And I can't wait to get this weekend started. I can't wait till this work day is over. And I really can't wait to get into this amazing bowl of Captain Crunch berries. Ew. Uh, oh, so and hopefully you can see me all right. I got a light over here, which is probably just light in the side of my face. So... My face has like an eclipse on it. Oh, and Eclipse Monday. Eclipse Monday. Did did you? I, I recorded that. You just said cereal was gross and then you eat one of my berries. I didn't eat a berry. Anyway, Eclipse Monday was awesome. Sort of. Depends on where you were. It wasn't great for us, but it was great for me because I had a 300 millimeter lens and a digital UV filter. And I could see it very well. Um, but anybody trying to look, well, I think probably with the glasses, if people had the glasses, you're not supposed to look at it. I looked at it a few with times. With the glasses, it would be really cool. But, um, I posted, if you don't follow me on Facebook, the link is always in the description below, but I posted a video of the eclipse on Facebook, so you've probably already seen it. If not, it's, I think I put it as the intro. I'm not sure. I may have. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to get this day started. I will see you in the next clip.
Also, the coffee's good. No. Our dog, Ebony, turned three years old yesterday. Three years old. I cannot believe we've had her for three years. That's crazy. But my wife told me it was her third birthday yesterday. That's awesome. Sort of. I mean, we didn't celebrate or anything. She probably, we probably should have. She's a pretty awesome dog, but we did it. Anyway, three years. Three years. Man, time flies. Time is just one sneaky, sneaky critter. And no Noah this weekend, which is sad, because we're busy. And no Noah, well, maybe sort of, um, next weekend, because we're doing our camping trip. And I think my son is going to that, so... We'll have Noah cuddle time then, but uh, we've been used to having him on the weekends and, and spending all sorts of time with him, and uh, not this weekend. We'll be in Chicago. All right. Time to get down on this crunch berry, which is eh. I'll see you in the next clip. One more thing. <laughs> I've also started my documentary. Started the whole editing pro process getting all the footage together, going over the footage, because I shot it, I think, last year. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while. And going over all that footage again brings back... That was a very, very crazy experience for me. It really was. But I, I, I'm, I've also, on Facebook, posted a little movie poster. Uh, the documentary has a name now. It's called Nowhere, um, a homeless documentary. And there's a little snippet in there. And then um, Ludabello, who I did the album cover for, is doing original music for the documentary. And uh, I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to come together nice. I'm going to spend a lot of time in the edit. A lot of time color correcting uh, shots and and uh, making it look very movie looking. A lot, of time, a lot of time just doing a nice, tight, clean, very, very good edit. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to really make this a nice documentary. So, um, it's it's almost just going to turn out nice on its own simply because of the people that I talk to. And and um, uh, uh, Steve Miller, I think his name was Steve Miller, the little guy in the wheelchair, was amazing. And I, I talked to a lot of people who told me their stories and the whole thing. It was just cool. It was just a cool experience. So... Look for that coming whenever. I it's gonna take a while to edit this thing because you gotta color correct every clip and 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 make it look very good and and you know and 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 work on things. I mean, there's a lot involved in editing um, something like this, especially when you want it high quality. So there's that. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. No more this morning. I'm going to work. I will probably see you after work. Um, because I have a business meeting tonight in Champaign right after work and uh, I'll talk to you on the way there. I will see you in the next clip.
day is done. This is probably the ugliest vehicle I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, the interior is not bad. The interior is not bad. I mean, it's just a gray color. The floor down here used to just be stained with rust. I mean, it was just rusted. Now look at it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it was just it was just a big rust stain that went up over that hump and all the way down. Just a big rust stain. I started scrubbing the rust stain. The rust stain didn't come out. So I tried again. It still didn't come out. So I dyed the carpet. <laughs> it's no joke. I dyed the carpet. I will show you. With this. It worked. You, you can't even tell. You can, I know it's kind of cheating. And you're kind of covering up a stain. But you can't even tell. I, I didn't take the stain out of the carpet. I covered the stain up. Shh. You can't tell. But as ugly as this car is. As god awful ugly is that color of green. Ugh. It's, it, it's, the, it's the worst color of green I've ever seen in my life. As ugly as this car is, I'm thinking about buying it as a second vehicle. I'm going to talk to the people I work for. And I'm, it, it, it's a 1994. It's old as hell. And it only has like 56,000 miles on it. Actually, They've got like a, not even a $2,000 price tag on it. So I'm going to talk to them about buying this for my wife to use just around town. <laughs> oh man, she'll look at this and be like, dear Lord, I mean, you could have gotten me something better. Anyway, it looks good. It looks nice. And I'm seriously going to talk to them. I'm going to show it to my wife. She's going to think it's got awful ugly as well. But 50 some thousand miles. It's a 94. Only for, that obviously it's some elderly people, but it's cool because they still have ashtrays in the back doors. Like the back doors, they'll flip out ashtrays. <laughs> the antenna, the antenna still telescopes up with you. <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's 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 the ugliest vehicle I've ever seen in my life. But a 94 with 57 thousand miles. Not bad, and and all we need, we got the great, fantastic, beautiful black beauty out there, the the, the Dodge Ram, and this can be a secondary vehicle for my wife to take to work just around town. We'll see what happens. Anyway, my day is just about over. I did not finish cleaning this car. It would look much better if I'd given it a bath and done everything. I haven't had the chance to do that, but I've got to get out of here. Two o'clock today because I've got a meeting in Champaign at four. I still got to go home and shower and all that jazz. And then after that, I got to clean up the truck. And then tomorrow, guys, tomorrow is Comic Con. Tomorrow is the Nerds Christmas. Tomorrow is a day where all nerds gather together and they share in the beautiful thing called nerdiness Comic Con. It is a beautiful thing. <laughs> I'm more than stoked to go there. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's a long drive, hour and a half-ish, um, Chicago, Illinois. Going to be great. I can't wait to do it. I'm about ready to get out of here. My wife's done at 2 o'clock today as well, and I'm going to bring her to <laughs> show her this. Let's see what she thinks. I will see you in the next clip. going to show my wife <laughs> I'm gonna show her her, her, her future car <laughs> maybe maybe it all it all depends uh, the, the, the plan is to try to to buy it they don't want much money for it 
and uh, and it, for that few miles and for just a town cruiser it's uh what do you think what <laughs> she's just being nice and she's very easy to get along with like she's she just sees the potential in the car because it's very low miles and she knows it's ugly <laughs> i made the interior look amazing though Yeah, I mean, it's, but it, look, it still has, look here, wife, look at this. Well, you can pop the trunk from right there and lock it. Yeah, and look, it still has ashtrays. They don't put ashtrays in cars anymore. So, yeah, you can pop, pop the trunk from there. It's, I mean, it's kind of a, it's just cool because it's like, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that, that side was the rust on the floorboard where I dyed the carpets. <laughs> you can't even tell, wife. Come here and look at this. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's, it's just the color is hideous. It's not rusted out. But see, you can't even tell it was rusted. Mm -mm. I dyed the carpet. That cracks me up. But yeah, the interior is not bad. It's not a bad car. Not a bad car. I drove it Does here. Does it have a tape player? Does it have a tape player? Is it a cassette tape? Yeah, it's a tape player. <laughs> it's a cassette tape. Like, <laughs> some people, my, my daughter Emily doesn't even know what those are. Is that a coin holder? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've seen every inch of this vehicle. I cleaned it. The interior looks amazing now, but... Uh, and the ashtray. And an ashtray. Anyway, the, 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 the color's ugly, but it, it might be my wife's future car. I've got the BA truck and she can have this just to troll around town. The only reason I want it is because it's a 94, it's 22 years old, and it has 50,000 miles on it. This thing's going to run forever as a town cruiser just for my wife to get back and forth to work. Okay, this, you may see this in the vlogs in the future. We'll see. Get out of my shop, woman. Before we go home and shower, my wife has to come out to this farm to buy her soap <laughs> it's good soap but we've all used it we bought a bar of it we got it for her and we've all used it it smells amazing it's made out of what cow milk or goat milk or something goat milk. it's made out of goat milk it makes your skin feel amazing and it smells incredible so we're at this farm <laughs> it's very unusual um, and my wife's gonna go inside this creepy garage and probably get murdered she's gonna go in there Um, if you don't, if you don't come back, or if I hear a chainsaw, I'm out of here. Well, <laughs> Appreciate. It. I love goats. They're so cute. But the soap is, the soap is that good. And they Ma make... Ma hey, that's a goat. I think goat. <laughs> that was a cow. He was being. <laughs> that was a goat. That was my version. <laughs> you got your soap. What's that one? Electric lemonade. And what else do you get? Chapstick. Where's your other bar of soap? In the bag. Isn't it pretty? Mm. <laughs> it, it is amazing soap. I'm not gonna lie. It really is. Like you come to a creepy little farm. To get your soap, it has to, to be good. Soap, it's gotta be good. I mean. <laughs> it's a creepy little farm. Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe they're they're putting like they're using like human fat to make this soap like on on Fight Club. Maybe. And and so like they 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 kill some people that come in to get soap and sell it to other people. And, I'm, and they didn't kill you for some reason. So. Maybe I'm not fatty enough. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that's a compliment. Yeah, uh, we're so weird. Goat milk, palm oil, olive oil, coconut oil. Sodium hydroxide, cocoa butter, castor oil, fragrance oil, and color. It's got a lot of oil in it. Gonna Hoffman's give you a cholesterol Lid, problem. Hoffman's Little Acres. Hoffman's Little Acres dot com. I don't, I don't know if it's got a dot com. It but, is actually. Oh. So they have Hoffman Acres, Hoffman Little Acres dot com. Go there and order soap. It's incredible. 
it is good. And, and uh, you know, I mean, I'm a dude, and maybe I shouldn't care so much about my soap, but I'm a very clean dude. I love showers, and um, and this soap is incredible. So there you have it. Okay, I'm trying to eat my lunch. I'm trying to drive the big black beast, Beauty, and um, that's what I named it because it's a beast, so I named it. I'm retarded. Anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. We are off. You're off. You're off. Um, oh God, that's a that's a, a toy from the fair. She won at the fair. The thing is amazing for a fair toy. It's incredible. Anyway, we are freshly showered with our farm fresh soap, smelling amazing. We used what was it? Electric lemonade. Electric lemonade. I'm feeling electrified. Not it really, smells really, really good upstairs. Really good. But I smell amazing, and it, and it feels so soft and supple. It's not like a strong smell. Like it's not no, like it's subtle. It's it's nice. It's nice. Anyway, we are going to this meeting. We're running just a smidge late, but we'll no, be alright. Four thirty. We'll be alright. We're, 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 I'm all, I always run late though. So does he. So it doesn't matter. So so, so does Mike. The you know, big Mike, the guy I'm going to have a meeting with. But uh, yeah, he's always running late. So it's whatever. You, you you can always plan on on if if you have to being a half hour late because Mike. Probably. Although the last meeting he was there before I was. So anyway. You don't get the car. Oh yeah, know. and the the uh, the the ugly green sable it's gone, man. He um, he went to the shop and picked it up, and uh, and it was at the it was at, at the the car dealership across from my house, and I went over there and I was like, "Is it sold?" And he was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Dang it!" And he was like, "Yeah, you don't find too many '94 uh, cars with only 50,000 miles on it." And somebody snatched that anything up so quick. I didn't even have a chance to ask him. So you won't be seeing the ugly green sable in the vlogs anytime soon. But that, that's okay because the, the, these things come along all the time. Maybe not a '94 with only 50,000 miles, but there'll be vehicles that I can probably snatch up sometime for my wife. We don't necessarily need it because we both work in town, so it, I mean it's convenient for us either way. But uh, it would just be nice for her. Looking so fantastic. Uh, my mind wanders. For her to have a vehicle of her own would be nice. We'll sort it out. We'll figure it out. And I was just like, I was thinking when I saw this car, I'm like, that's the ugliest car I've ever seen, which it is. <laughs> I mean, but the, also the guy that I work for can sell anything. I mean, he's probably sold at least one or two vehicles a day this week. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. That's why he's in the car business. That's why he's been in the car business for hard, hard telling how many years? Well over 20, I'm sure. All right, we're gonna go to this meeting, and then we're gonna find out if there's anything going on tonight. We haven't hung out with Amy and Eric uh, lately, and it'd be nice to hang out with them. And so we might see what they're up to, and if they're gonna have a campfire or something, maybe we'll go chill out and hang out with them tonight, and uh, just relax a little bit. And then tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, we're gonna be in this big black beauty, driving to Chicago to Comic Con. With I'm stoked. My favorite. Yes, with cousin. with. You can't say your favorite cousin. I said little. Oh, with my nephew, who is a total nerd. He gets it from me and his daughter. They're going with us, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. And uh, I'm going to try not to freak out this year. I'm going to try to just walk through there, kind of take everything in nice and slow, look around, find a few things that I want, and not just be freaking out and going everywhere. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to keep my, my, my brain under control. It's my second year, so holy smokes! Stop it, child. The thing is loud too. It's this. I mean, it, it must be a fluke, like really good one or something, because usually them fair toys are cheap. This thing is amazing. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go, because I'm driving and this is illegal. So I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, meeting's over. Went well. Went, went good. A lot, a lot of projects coming up. Gosh, a lot of projects coming up. So much work to do. I'm okay with it, but uh, uh, I don't know. Just a lot of work to do. I don't mind working. Though. Working's good. This kind of work is really good. Oh, man, I gotta go that way. Uh, this kind of work is really good. Do shooting videos and things like that. But it's just there's just a whole lot to remember. <laughs> A whole lot of dates to remember and a whole lot of events to remember and a whole lot of information to keep stored in my tiny little brain and uh, that's that's the only overwhelming thing about a whole lot of work because you know, I don't mind doing the job that's that's great 
And uh, the, the next event coming up is got some Hall of Famers, Ozzy Smith, Brian Sandberg again, and uh, you know, a lot of sports, uh, big sports names, past and present. So the events, the events are great. The events are cool, and what makes them even better is, is they're raising money for charity, which that that rocks. Okay. All right, hold on. I've got I've got to you concentrate. I've got to concentrate guy. on the. I'll I'll be right back. We're in a traffic jam. You're a traffic jam. Oh, seriously, we're like in a freaking. There's cars for like blocks, cars and cars and cars for blocks. Let me know I can get from here. Look. Can you see it? Look at all them cars way up there. I don't know what's going on. Hey, there's no budget. They're turning. Oh. All right, so we're in a traffic jam. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what the heck is going on up there. The car goes up and around the curve. Cars. Was there an accident? Maybe there's an accident. If there was, that's tragic. And I'm going to get off of here before I cause one. Dinner was okay. They was having a steak special. I decided to not do the steak special. And I've been eating a lot of steak lately. <laughs> I did the nacho burger. Oh god, hold on. It was it was eh. Wasn't great. Now we're getting ready to go to a campfire party. Met our friends Amy and, and Eric. You're getting wasted. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh, she's grounded forever. Just forever. I'm just having. Just, she's just gonna have to be grounded forever. Sit down. What are you doing? Okay, so we're heading off to. The, are we going to their house yet? Yeah, right now. Have you heard back from them? No. I yes, didn't. I did. My wife is looking fine today. I know I am. What are you getting complimented? I need a hoodie if we're going. Okay, so that's where we're gonna go. Where'd my gun go? It is chilly out though. Like, like this, this whole week has been like fall weather. It's been like, like high of seventy some degrees. It's been fantastic, but the night times, it's like getting down to fifty three tonight. It's gonna be bitter. Well, not bitter. It's gonna be nipply. It's gonna. Be <laughs> what the hell? I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> This is Shelby. This is Chris. That's his daughter. That's my nephew. Probably already knew that. Alrighty. Today is the day. It is Christmas for nerds. It is Comic Con. You have the hiccups now. Super stoked. It's from laughing. It's my second year. And, gu and guess, guess what Shelby's looking for? Shelby's looking for horror pop vinyl. How cool is that? I kind of have too. Either horror pop vinyls, horror figures. I would definitely want a Stanley figure to add to my Stanley collection of things I got going on. And uh, this is gonna be amazing. Second year, I don't know. I, I know they got uh, some of the celebrities is Gene Simmons, um, Lou Ferrigno. Oh god, oh, they got s people from some of the cast from Stranger Things. Gosh, I looked it up. I can't remember them all. There's tons, always tons, tons of celebrities there. And then, of course, a whole room full of action figures and comic books. and It's amazing. I'm not sure. What are you looking for, Chris? Anything specific? Lobo comics. Lobo. Maybe probably some Lobo figures. He's got a big Lobo statue that's amazing. But I definitely want to get a Stan Lee figure. I know there's a vendor there. I looked it up. There's a vendor there that sells those. So hopefully he's got Stan Lee figures because that is definitely 
on my radar, it's and then it's just kind of. But this year I told my wife, I'm gonna to relax. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to go through this thing and check things out. Last year I was freaking out. I was totally mind boggled and freaking out. Alrighty, my wife hates it when I vlog while I'm driving, so I'm gonna get off here. We'll, 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 we'll do a little road montage, and then I will see you at Comic Con. We have made it. We're here. Well, sort of. We're about a couple blocks away, but we're getting there. Oh, it was. It's always a little stressful driving in Chicago. Always a little stressful. Emily, Ebony, or Shelby's first Comic Con experience, and we're here. We're gonna head that way. We've already seen two people, two Ghostbusters, and <laughs> this is good stuff, guys. This is good stuff. I will see you inside. So is it, do we take a bus? No, I walk. Oh, we're just gonna walk? No, I did last time, I don't. I mean, we can, I don't care. That's not bad. That's better than a parking garage.
right, so the general admission line. <laughs> oh my god, the general admission line is ridiculous. And this probably, this probably isn't everybody. But I'm going to show you. Start till for another hour. Do we need to get but we still need to get in line. But we're gonna be standing here for an hour. But they usually have like some people come out, stuff like that. So uh, I guess doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Right here. Okay. I just talked to a guy who wrote this comic book. All these are signed by the author also, um, but some of them are signed by the artist. Um, I also left him a, a, with a business card because he's very interested in maybe some promo work. So I, I got I got a bunch of variants and some awesome ones. Lord of Gore, Can't, cannot wait to get into this. Shelby, what are we doing? You got look at that, this. look. Look at this. What did you get a Chucky picture? Let me see that. That's all. Awesome. You said you didn't have one of those. My my nephew just bought me this. Some freaking killer artwork. That's the artist. He's got some amazing stuff. His his Pennywise is amazing. That's bad. So we gave her the big one instead of the little one. That's awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff happening at Comic Con.
That's the F bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it. Drop the F bomb. <laughs> Not around the children. <laughs> I just am. All right. I just stopped at another comic book booth and bought this one. The full series, one through five, and the artist signed them for me. Awesome. So awesome. I'm, 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 I've been being pulled into the comic book booths right now. I'm being pulled into the comic book booths and doing uh, getting comic books. I haven't done any figures yet, so I think that's where i got to go next. And I'm trying to steer away from too much artwork because, as you know, the Nerd Cave is full of art. But this is good. Good reads. Emily's toting the Stan Lee for me. All right, we're going to go find food, and then we're going to go and uh, check out some figures. So I'll see you in the next clip. Alrighty, we're gonna have some grub and then we're gonna hit, hit, hit the uh, convention again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully find some good figures. I'm looking for figures now. I'm done with the comic books, done with the artwork, gonna look for some good figures. I'll see you in the next clip. She just joined the people who identify as cats. Not really. She just thought it was cool. Hey, there's a Stanley doll. Hey, I like how you pull the deal. You have to be like, hey, you still owe token to that money for that one. We talk about all the stuff. That's uh, it's, it's an artist proof, proof of Stanley. Oh yeah, cool if I would uh it's silent now.
the search for a Stanley figure. I know someone here has a Stanley figure, and uh, I am on the lookout for it. So, well, you get lost in this place. You don't know where you've been or where, where you. Okay, we're going straight. Definitely got to find that Stanley figure. I've asked multiple people. All right, I just found a booth. Maybe I'll get lucky.
So I didn't find the exact Stanley uh, figure I was looking for, but I did find this, which is very cool to add to my Stanley collection. Now I'm heading back to find Alicia. She's over here with Shelby at the kids' stage. Her and Emily are, in, or Shelby and Emily are getting their face painted. So I'm going back to try to find them. They should still be over here. I'll tell you what, it's it's stop and go. <laughs> it's crowded. I'll right, see you next time. This, we got this. We, we went Comic Con shopping. It's been fun though, it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, you can hear me, it's pretty loud here, but we've been having a blast. But we're just about Comic Con exhausted. So, we're taking a seat here in the main lobby. We're just gonna chill out here for a little bit, camp out here for a second. I'm gonna tell my nephew where we're at. I'm going to be heading home pretty soon. I'm going to grab, grab some food and head home. So we'll see you in the next clip. Probably at home. YouTube yep. Comic-Con is done well for us it's done it still has tomorrow to go for anybody yeah. else but it's done for us look at Shelby she's a kitty or are you a kitty or kitty. A weird kitty. Kitty. and did you did you have did you have fun Shelby how was your how, Shelby how was your first Comic-Con great 
<laughs> that's, the, that's good. <laughs> Shelby's very camera friendly. We had fun. We had a lot of fun. She was uh, she was very tired in the beginning, but uh, Chris Chris uh, busted out the old Mountain Dew and that woke her right up. He sugared her up and perked her right up. We had fun. We had a blast. This Comic Con, guys, this Comic Con was massive. It, it it grew probably double the size, if not bigger, from last year. So fun. So fun. It's so and huge. I just got a feisty pet for my very first time. She got some stuff. Her her dad spoiled yeah. her a little bit. And she got to meet Chuck the Chucky's bride Tiffany. She got to meet her and uh, she thought that was amazing. We had fun. She had the Chucky doll. Yep, she had a Chucky doll. She, and she and she let you hold the Chucky doll and and you got your picture taken with her. That was cool, huh? Yep, we had good times. Good times. Comic Con. So next year our plan is to maybe do a two day. And yeah, if it keeps if it keeps growing like it is, because it grew, I, like I said, it doubled size from last year. If it keeps growing like it is, then we'll probably maybe do a four day. We'll we'll see how it works out. But four day it, would be exhausting. It could go broke. <laughs> well, no, you do all your purchasing, or you spread your purchasing out over the days, or you do it all in one day, and they'll purchase no more the rest of the time. <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know. It's it, it is it is very expensive. We, we I'm not even going to tell. You. It's embarrassing how much money we spent. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm just not going to do it. And a place you might do this. And apparently just wants to hurt you. Let's see what he does. Apparently just wants to hurt you. <laughs> and wants to watch you in your sleep. Oh, God. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that was Comic Con. When I get home, I'll, I'll do a Comic Con haul and show you everything that uh, that I got. And uh, I got a lot. And, and everybody got something this time. So I didn't feel like it was just about my interest because there was a lot of things that piqued my wife and Emily's interest as well. So it, it, was, a, it was good overall. We had fun. It was fun hanging out. Good family time. And uh, we're going to head home because we're Comic Con exhausted. So we'll see you when we get there. Say see you in the next clip, Shelby. Shelby. Say see you in the next clip. See you in the next clip. <laughs> Alrighty, YouTube. We are back home from Comic-Con in the Nerd Cave. And this Comic-Con was a blast. I'm telling you what. This Comic-Con topped last year. Easily topped last year. Um, it, was, it was twice as big. Um, there was an upstairs of the Comic-Con where they had other... Uh, stuff going on. It was great. Oh, by the way, I'm recording on the T6i. The the um, the GoPro has had one heck of a workout today, so it's charging, and I'm recording on the T6i. So it's all good. Anyway, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna run through my Comic Con haul. I'm not including her stuff. She got some jewelry and some figures and a tail. <laughs> um. My wife got some jewelry. Uh, uh, Funny Bones figures is the ones my wife's collecting now. Um, you can find them on the internet or Facebook. And Nightmares is the no, is under beds. Under beds is is under beds with a Z is the figure she's collecting uh, right now. And um, they got some of those figures at Comic Con. They got jewelry, things like that. I'll be back. Are you leaving? I'm leaving. All right. Don't you can't unbox the Rubik's cube. Yeah, or the little one, okay? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Love you, guys. Love you, love you too. Okay. They they gotta run off and uh, um, give my daughter Shayna a ride. Am I in focus? I think I'm in focus. Be in focus. This this light. Anyway, so I'm gonna run through what I got from Comic Con. Um, I've got some mystery boxes that I'm not gonna open on the vlog. I'm doing separate videos of those, um, so you'll have to look for those um, sometime next week to see what I got in my mystery boxes. Uh, but oh, and and the the Stan Lee bag, oh god, um, the Stan Lee bag that I got in my last Stan Lee box. This K thing came in handy. It's a backpack. This K this was perfect perfect to tote around and uh, have have all my stuff in it, it was perfect all right so what I what I did get is uh, let's go let's see hold on a second hold on a second I'm gonna show you this um, hopefully it it's a Stan Lee figure Stan Lee he's kind of doing the, the spider-man thing and uh, it's a Stan Lee figure it's very nice 
Um, it's uh, it's just a, a Stanley. It's, it's from Collectibles.com. Vital Idols. Vinyl Idols is is the company that makes these. Vinyl Idols. Um, Collectibles.com. You can get this. Uh, uh, just an awesome. Now it wasn't the Stanley figure that I was uh, necessarily looking for. I hope this thing is staying in focus. Um, but um, it was. It, I couldn't find it. I, I actually stopped and I was talking to a lady and I said, "Listen, um, I am trying to find." The Stanley, they're they're kind of like dolls. They're as Stanley action figures is basically what they were. If I'm not in focus, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what this can this light and I don't know what's going on. Anyway, stay focused, Steve. Um, I think the lens is dirty. Also, anyway, um, the uh, Stanley figures that I was looking for, I talked to the, I, I talked to so many people. One person said I didn't even know Stanley came out with figures, and I'm like, well, yeah. Finally, I got to a lady who really knew her stuff about collectibles, and I asked her, I said, do you have any Stanley figures? She's like, well, I have this uh, by Vinyl Idols. I have a Stan uh, Stanley figure, $15 for this. Let, 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 uh, we'll take a quick look at it. Um, it, it has, it has a, like, a little bit of information about Stanley on the back. Um, the, the, the packaging's okay. I mean, you could totally display him in this package. Um, I'm probably not gonna... I'm going to, but it, it kind of, they're nice. The Vinyl Idols makes some nice stuff. Um, it comes with a stand uh, for him to to to, to uh, prop him up. Um, so, so we have the Stanley figure. Let's get focused in on him. Right there. We've got the Stanley figure. Oh, it looks a lot like him too. Doing his Spider-Man thing. And it, and it comes with uh, with this. With this, uh, so you can just peg his feet. Uh, maybe if I figure it out, I, I, I'm doing it. But we can peg his feet into this base and stand him up. So um, I got me a Stanley figure to go along with all, all of my other Stanley uh, collectibles that, that that I've been getting lately. So so that was cool. So um, but anyway, she told me she was telling me. She, I was because I was looking for these Stanley action figures, and she said, um, "You're not gonna find them. I guarantee you. If you find them here, I'd be surprised." She said because those are very rare, very rare collectibles, very hard to find, um, very limited edition stuff that you're looking for. Because I explained to her what I was looking for, and she knew exactly what it was. And she said, "There's no way." So, but she said there's a pop vinyl, a Comic Con, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive pop vinyl signed by Stanley that you can get your hands on in a booth so far down so I went and checked that booth it wanted eighty dollars I couldn't justify eighty dollars for a pop vinyl although I did spend a lot of money today I'm not gonna lie I couldn't justify eighty dollars for a Stanley pop so I didn't get that one but anyway I did get me a Stanley figure and I do like him I like him a lot so that was that uh, got the Stanley figure I did get I did get something for Halloween I got these these contacts Let's see if I focus in on. I did get these contacts. They're called Manson. They're contacts for me to wear with my clown mask on Halloween. Um, I've been wanting some of these contacts for a long time, and they're going to be super creepy and awesome. And I can't wait for Halloween. So I did get those. I found those at a booth. Um, I got. I got a horror mystery box, Pandora design. Horror mystery box full of some horror items and the Pandora uh, Hellraiser mystery box design. Awesome. Like I said, I'm not opening these on the vlog. Um, though these are going to be exclusive videos. Then I, have, I got the Rubik's Cube design mystery box, just a regular mystery mystery box. Um, this this design here. One second. This design here is the original mystery box, which I have sitting back there on my shelf. You can't can't see it maybe you can I don't know this size so this was the original mystery box design I got the Rubik's Cube uh, original mystery box design so so that's cool um, and there's there's some really nice stuff in there the loads of stuff in there and then this came free for buying two mystery boxes and I'm pretty sure there's just a t-shirt in here but it's still a pretty cool little little uh, mystery box cube so mystery cube so th th there's that I got I got three mystery boxes. I got my Stanley. I got my my contact lenses, which are going to be amazing in the Stanley bag. 
Um, okay, I got, I got this. Um, I got, I got a, I got a free, I got a free tiny piece of artwork also. Hold on a second. It might be in here. Let me see if it's, is it in here? Um, a guy gave it to me free. I was looking at his artwork and he was like, I'll give you free art, a free piece of art if you follow me on Instagram. So of course that's what I did. I gotta find that. Um, okay, okay, I was gonna show you this. I was gonna show you this first. So to add to my horror uh, shelf, I got Leatherface Pop Vinyl. Um, real nice Leatherface Pop. Um, didn't have him. I have I have Pennywise, Chucky, Freddy, and Jason. Um, I didn't have Leatherface, so I got a Leatherface pop vinyl. I also didn't have this one. I didn't have Ghostface. So I got a Ghostface pop vinyl from, from Scream, naturally. So so they have that. So th this is going to add to my pop vinyl horror collection, which I'm building on like crazy. Okay, um, I also got this. I got this for the nerd cave door <laughs> it says it says a community this community protected neighborhood watch and you got jason Voorhees with his with his machete up that goes on the nerd cave door i thought it was awesome and it was like seven dollars and i think that little piece of artwork is in here yeah this this is the piece of artwork the guy gave me for signing up to his instagram um, the Invisible Man, the original, from the original. He 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 drew this. Amazing artists, amazing artists at these conventions. Amazing. I'm not even kidding. The artists blow my mind. So there's that. Let's see. Okay, now I've got. Oh, I got I got this. <laughs> I got this for little baby Noah. <laughs> Spider Man. It's a onesie Spider Man for little baby Noah. And it says Spider Man on the back. I'm going to turn that kid chunky. I'm going to turn that kid into a comic book nerd just like his grandpa. So that's awesome. Then I got I got some artwork. Um, my nephew got me this piece. Um, I also, I, and I bought my nephew a piece of artwork. He's a huge, huge um, um, Power Rangers fan. So I got him a Power Rangers piece of artwork, which he has taken home with him. And then he got me this. So uh, this is great. This is great. The, again, another great art piece. I tried to steer clear from any more artwork because the Nerd Cave walls are splattered with amazing artwork so I'm tr I tried at this Comic Con to steer away from from artwork but um, he got me that piece and then I got myself Jack Skelton uh, awesome piece um, this is good stuff so I got some artwork a little bit of artwork which is okay um, then well, what's that else we got okay 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 now we're getting into some interesting stuff um, I also gave a guy, and I said this on the vlog at Comic-Con, I gave a guy my business card, um, and I told him what I do uh, for a living, uh, well, you know, what I do as far as I'm a videographer, I shoot promos and commercials. This guy said, you know, I've been looking for someone like you. I gave him my business card, um, and I, of course I've handed out my I hand out my business card at all these conventions to certain people, certain people, people that maybe I'm interested in, in, in uh, using their 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 skills, or they're interested in using mine. The business card has is chuck full of my information. I hand them out like candy. Um, I met up with a guy who wrote a comic book um, called Lord of Gore. Um, this particular one, uh, oh, did, did I buy the variant covers? I did. I bought, I bought the variant covers um, for Lord of Gore. I bought all three variant covers for number one. So f for this is Lord of Gore. Um, try to focus in on that. This is Lord of Gore, uh, and these are all the variant covers. For Lord of Gore. Now, the, the, so so the cool thing is, is these are digitally printed variants of issue number one, Lord of Gore. This is literally the comic book, but this was a blank, plain white cover, 
and the artist drew this on here. He drew this right directly onto the comic book. They're all signed, all signed by the artist. Uh, you can see in gold, you can see in gold there, signed by the artist and the writer, the artist and the writer, Lord of Gore, um, one through five. Did I get one through, one through three, one, two, three. Oh, I, I did get a, th a three, number three variant as well. So yes, I got one, did I, get, did I get a number? Yeah, so it was just one, two, and three, and I grabbed the number three variant also. All signed. All these are signed. Um, haven't read them yet, but I look forward to it. Lord of Gore. Look it up. Um, uh, Daniel, I'm going to butcher his name, Daniel Leister. Um, and uh, D.B. Stanley is, uh, is the creator. Um, who was it? I think D Daniel Leister was the artist. Anyway, D.B. Stanley, you can look him up. You can you can probably Google Lord of Gore and find this. Um, good stuff. Good stuff right here. So, there's that. I, I broke down and bought some more independent comics. I can't help it. I'm writing my own comic, and and this is good uh, good review material to 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 see. Um, you know, to see how it's done, and good, it's good because these are also people that I gave my information to. So it's also good to to um, get in contact with these people, and 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 I I'm super super um um what's the word um I I I tell them how good their stuff is, which I I tr truly believe that, but I'm kind of buttering them up just in case I need a comic book artist, maybe. So then I got Rot and Ruin. These are also, as you can see, signed in silver by by the artist. That's number one. Um, this is a five uh, comic book miniseries, Rot and Ruin, and, and I got all, all uh, none of these are variants. I just got all the originals. So, so there's that. So yeah, man, I, I I got the goods. I got the goods. I've got pop. And by the time I open my mystery boxes, dear Lord, I'm gonna have stuff all over the nerd cave. Um, so look for the mystery box unboxings uh, coming up, uh, you know, this week sometime. Um, I'll, I'll post those, and uh, the, the nerd cave is uh, is is smack full of very nerdy stuff, and 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 it's never gonna end because I'm going to Comic Con every year, and, and especially if if it keeps getting as big as it is, if it keeps growing like it has, um, we're, we're we're gonna try next year for a two day stay and see how that works out, and, and if it's better than then we're gonna. I mean, it gets expensive though. Uh, you would have to purchase one day, and the other days just enjoy. Um, but. Uh, Finding things like this that you love, finding things like this that catch your interest. I'm a sucker for an independent comic. I'm a sucker for a really good writer and artist, and, and I love reading this stuff. And it's very creative and very good stuff. So that was my Comic-Con haul. You your boxes. No. Good. That was my Comic-Con haul. Um, very stoked. Very stoked to have this stuff. So... I'm gonna jump off here. I don't know if I'm done vlogging for this Saturday, but I'm gonna jump off and do my um, unboxing videos for these mystery boxes. Like I said, you can see on 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 uh, during the week sometime. But my family is up here, my wife and my daughter, and they want to see what's in my mystery boxes. So I'm gonna go unbox it. I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so what we just did, <laughs> I'm blinding myself, I can't see anything. What we just did was went on, what would they call it? The Night of Living dead. No, not night of the living dead. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. Something night. It, it, it was extra credit for her class. For 200 points. For science? Yeah. For her science class. So we came out to 
these creepy woods. Oh, Sasquatch. Oh, it's my wife. Look him on to these <laughs> creepy woods. Can I, <laughs> no. <laughs> I know you can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm going to try to get the light right. There we go. We came out to these creepy woods to get extra credit for Emily. So it's like nearly nine o'clock at night and we're roaming around the woods with a flashlight. Like the, Bla like the Blair Every Witch. What you got? How much extra credit? 200 points. 200 points extra credit for coming out here and looking at bugs in the woods. So they have that. Um, after an exciting day in Chicago Comic Con, we come to the woods to look at bugs. It, it was all right. It wasn't too bad. They had a sheet up with black light showing some bugs and the, the, the highlight of the trail was a walking stick we found, so it was interesting. But now we're heading home, and uh, I'm about to end this vlog for the evening because I don't think we're doing anything else. Children so, on the corn, I'm gonna get you. Children on the corn, right here. Are gonna are gonna come out and kill us? Uh, anyway, uh, we're we're ridiculous. All right, so we're. We're oh, heading home, a and probably, probably. we're heading home, and uh, I'm gonna end the vlog for today. So I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> limo, limo, limo. Already at YouTube, so our plans have changed. We are going to another ca our campfire uh, hangout with our friends Amy and Eric, and Mike. Um, I, and, and Mike, um, their uh, Amy's brother, who's hilarious. I love hanging out with that guy. But I'm getting, I'm trying something new. I do got the uh, not your mom's uh, apple pie. I've also got a can of blueberry twisted tea. I'm gonna give that a shot and see what I think. But I'll see you in the morning. I'll tell you what I think about it in the morning. Because uh, we're just going to go chill and hang out. And all we do is sit around a campfire and talk. And it's not that interesting. And instead of showing you a montage of fire, I will see you in the morning. Oh, good morning, YouTube. Oh, well, happy Sunday morning. It is nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. We were out late, sort of. I, I can't remember what time we were out. So much fun last night. I'll tell you this. Twisted tea is delicious. Um, <laughs> the the twisted tea, the can of twisted tea blueberry I had, that was freaking good. Probably so far, out of all the drinks that I've tried lately, that is my favorite. But uh, we had fun last night. So much fun. We played Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so much fun. It was so, oh my god, that was hilarious. So funny. We we, we were definitely playing with the right group of people because, oh, so funny. I, I, literally my abs hurt right now because I laughed so much last night. That is a fun game. That is a fun game. So much fun. So yeah, we just hung out. We hung out with Amy. And we didn't do a campfire. We stayed inside. Like <laughs> Eric went out to make a campfire, and he came back in. He's like, I really don't want to make a campfire. We're like, that's cool. That's cool. We'll stay in here. So then they break out Cards Against Humanity. Oh, it, that, it, was, it was. I'm glad he didn't want to make a campfire because that was sitting outside around a campfire. And it's okay. You just sit around outside. outside you stare at the campfire. You talk, and it's fun. We had, we had a good time Friday night doing that. But man, that game was a blast. We had a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. So we're getting ready to go pick up Emily because she stayed the night there. And then we're going to go and uh, pick up Noah, a little baby Noah, because we haven't seen him all weekend and we miss him like crazy. And then we're going to go get some breakfast. So uh, we're finally getting this day started. My wife and I decided to just uh, chill out for a while and lay in bed. And we started watching Death Note, which came out the 25th. So it came out two days ago. And I knew it was coming out the 25th, but I didn't get a chance to watch it when it came out. Um, and it, it's on Netflix. So if you're interested in that, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's it's a bit gruesome. Um, a bit graphic in the way of, of some of the deaths that happen. But uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, for, for people who are into that, that kind of thing, it's good. If you're not into that kind of thing. Well, I mean, obviously, it's... Anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Um, and that, that that nature walk we did last night, um, 
some of that footage <laughs> will make some, would make some really good like creepy horror type of footage. So I might hang on to that. I might have to hang on to that footage <laughs> a little bit. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna put on my stocks. I'm gonna go down, and put on my shoes, and we're gonna hop in the in in, in the Black Beast, and uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go have some food. Cause I, I'm I'm very I got I got a lot of rumbly in my tumbly, and I'm hungry. I'll see you. I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> My breakfast lately since, well, just throughout the week, is usually um, a protein bar and a banana. And uh, I come in here and just stuff myself <laughs> with two plates of food. <sighs> I'm full. It was pretty tasty. Not too shabby. Alrighty, guys. This Sunday, we're very tired this Sunday. <laughs> And now that we've gorged ourselves with food, we're really, really tired. We it was a long day yesterday. Still and we still got to go do go do a little shopping for just some things you need around the house. You know all that responsible garbage that you got to do when you're an adult and it's really no fun. <clears throat> you got to do those things. But man, yesterday with the getting up early, well, we was out kind of late uh, Friday night, and then we got up early, like six. 5 30 6 o'clock to go to comic-con and then all day at comic-con and then come home and do that little nature walk thing and then go to our friend Amy and eric's again until what midnight or so um get home don't go to sleep until probably 1 30 or so in the morning and then and then get up and, and we're exhausted exhausted almost eleven thousand steps for me yesterday Eleven thousand steps I wonder what yours was. My, my, I don't know. But Where's your phone? In my pocket. And we got, we, I mean, everybody who has a, a iOS device, well, maybe even Android, I don't know, has a, like a step counter, like my watch tells me. Well, of course my watch is connected to my phone, but tells me, like tells you your steps. And like mine was set at 6,000 steps, I think at, at default, and I bumped it up to 8,000 steps. Um, because I walk a lot, you know, like walking around cars all day and, and, and uh, cleaning them and stuff. I actually go over 6,000 steps. It's crazy. That is crazy. And then, um, so I bumped mine up to 8,000 and I, I easily went over that yesterday. I don't know how many. So she said, uh, she said she walked uh, 11,000 steps, which I don't know how that equals out to like miles or whatever. I don't know. There's probably a converter on Google to convert steps to miles but anyway uh i think we're just gonna we're just gonna go get this shopping done we're going to uh and we're gonna go home we're just gonna go home and chill the rest of the day we got a little baby noah back here he, he slept right through breakfast he, he was just not interested he you, you put him in a vehicle his dad was the exact same way put him in a vehicle boom he's asleep that's that's all it takes 
Um, so I think we're just going to go home. Maybe we'll grab a Redbox movie or maybe we'll just watch something on Netflix. I don't know what we're going to do, but I know we're not going to do a whole heck of a lot the rest of the day besides chill out and relax because we're very tired. So I think I'm going to end the vlog right here as I drive down this very bumpy road. This is Old Route 66, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Old Route 66. Very historic uh, road that runs through our little community and uh, uh, most people know because I think it runs from Chicago to California. Um, well, at one point in my life, and, and I still kind of would, I, I wanted to try to get a sponsorship to actually run the full length of Route 66. Like, you know, it would take me obviously probably months, I don't know how long it would take, well months, obviously, well, probably even longer than that, but I wanted to get sponsorships and things like that and have a team of people that followed me as I ran from Chicago to California. I know, crazy ideas, but I would still love to do it. Okay, it is Sunday, and this Sunday and weekend vlog is coming to a close. So thank you guys so much for coming to the Steve Tilly channel. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the weekend vlog, and I will see you in the next one. Stay bye, fam. Bye, fam. See you in the next one, guys.